Boom! What up, yo? Welcome back to the Balcony Vapor. Balcony Vaping. Sit clouds, bro. Sit clouds. And today, well, I'm actually pretty late with this one, but uh, I, I've been using this device for a little while. And uh, as you know by the title, yes, Sigeli 150 watts. Pure ultimate vaping box device machine. And uh, I've currently got the uh, the Haze RDA sitting on the top here. Love this review coming for that one. Currently at 0.3 ohms, 55 watts. She's a chucking. But yes, the Sigeli. Now in this form factor, the first one to come out was obviously the 100 watts. Everyone was like, whoa, 100 watts, they're crazy. Um, that one had a few issues, mainly with the uh, the copper uh, screw adjustable 510 pin that would just get destroyed any time you tried to screw something on. They uh, rectified that problem with the 100 watt plus, also added some very sexual swooshes. And then they were like, you know what the world needs? 150 watts. And everyone was like, oh my god, 150 watts, that's crazy. And you're right, it is crazy. I mean, I've never even really gone over 100 watts, let alone 150 watts. But it's nice to know that it's there just in case. And um, yeah, main changes between this and, uh, and the 100 watt plus are these very sexual black buttons. Oh yeah, it's very slick. Uh, this one doesn't actually have the swooshes. Uh, I'll show you in a close up. So I'm actually using the uh, the included silicone skin that you get with the 100 watt plus and the 150 watt plus. And it's just something that makes this a really really good package. After all, I mean. The, for the price, so I don't, I don't think these boxes can be beaten. Um, my only really gripe with this is uh, rattly rattly. Now, my 100 watt plus Sigeli didn't actually do that. Uh, buttons were really, really nice. And I, I don't think it's all of these because uh, actually uh, a friend of mine has 150 watt and his buttons don't do that. So unfortunately, I got the rattly one. But yes, really love this. Uh, it actually uses a uh, a custom Yee SX330 chip. I say custom mainly because uh, they obviously they use a different readout display, um, and I'll show you how you can tell that it's custom when we when we go up close. Uh, it goes from 10 watts all the way to 150 watts, uh, and on the ohms you can go from uh, 0.1 all the way up to 3 ohms. Uh, other big differences, I guess, is the is the button on the 150. It's it's nice and flat. Uh, the 100 and the 100, sorry, the 100 watt and 100 watt plus actually have the little slightly raised button, the bumpy button, bumpy button. But yeah, so uh, let's take it down and uh, I'll show you around. We'll have a look, check it out, and then we'll come back up and blow some more sick clouds, bro. So here we go, friends, up close and personal with the Sigeli 150 watt. Let's begin with the box. Vape it, love it. I do, and I do. The postman made a nice new design feature in this box for me, which I love, thank you very much. Um, and if you weren't aware, the Sigeli 150 watt is an advanced personal vaporizer. So when you're vaporizing, please do it in an advanced way. So yes, let me slide the ribbon. Ooh, it's like a draw. Here we go, here is the device. Let's give it a little shake to get this out. So it actually came uh, in this little wrapper. Ooh, look at the wrapper, very nice. Uh, and it was already in its little silicone sleeve uh, when it arrived. But let's have a look at some of these goodies. In fact, there's no goodies, it's just all boring documentation. There's Modus Distribution. Warranty card. Yes, it has a warranty. Although this one doesn't because it's over 90 days old. Market. Market what? Market survey, oh, mine is black, thank you very much. And here we go, the instruction manual. It's actually uh, pretty good, um, very clear English. It's nice and easy to understand. Tells you how to uh, put your batteries in. Uh, tells you how to push the buttons to make it do all the various thingy bobs it does. It tells you what the buttons actually do, which is also very helpful. Um, so yes, very good manual, um, worth a read before you uh, start your advanced personal vaporizing. But here we go. So yeah, I really like the fact that it comes with a silicon sleeve in, included in the package. Uh, and whilst it has it has a number of uh, uses, um, obviously the main one being to protect it, 
Uh, something else I found is that without the sleeve it actually feels like it could kind of slip out of your hand I mean it's not like a, a wet bar of soap but it actually you know it makes it much uh, much nicer in the hand with the sleeve so here we go 150 watt let's get some focus on the device please my camera come on come on don't do this to me yes focus so here we go, spring-loaded 510. Also has uh, airflow there, just in case you're using an atomizer that does not have its own airflow. So we're prepared for that. Sleek buttons, oh yeah. No screws. And obviously this one doesn't have the, the swooshes, like the 100 watt plus, it's just bare. I know some people kind of prefer the swooshes, um, some people don't like the swooshes, uh, but generally I keep all of mine in the, in the silicone sleeve anyway, so you can't see them. Uh, now what I love the most, obviously there's no screws for the back cover, so as you'll see here, your little lip, put your finger in there, pull it open, and there we go. Magnets, opposing magnets, magnets, opposing magnets. What I love is how it just snaps into place, kind of aggressively, but it kind of snaps with confidence, it gives you confidence. Boom, that's not going anywhere. I like it. Just one more time, just for effect. Boom. But there we go. So here is the inside. Not really much to see. Um, super clean. I really like how nice and clean it is. Obviously the included ribbon, also good. But uh, actually I was telling you how um, it has a custom Yeehee chip in there. And one way to find that out is if you, uh, if you pop one of the batteries out, pop. And then you hold the fire button, push the battery back in. It will then tell you, the Yihi SX330 version 7.4. Now it's only custom, obviously, because they uh, Segeli make it go to 150 watts. Uh, and also, um, Segeli obviously use a, a different screen layout. So let's turn this on, five clicks, Segeli. Now, one thing I've actually noticed with this is when you push the fire button, you have to kind of mean it. Sometimes when you're trying to lock it or unlock it, one, two, three, four, five, sometimes it doesn't always work. So you kind of have to give it short presses. One, two, three, four, five, so get it. So that, that was, that's a downside. Maybe it's because this one has a rattly button, um, but I know I've, I've seen other reviews also report that the button needs to be uh, pressed very firmly. So let's have a look at the screen. So here we go, as you can see in the top left we have our, um, our power setting, 67 watts uh, and then we have the, the voltage that's going to be sent to the atomizer upon pushing the button at that power uh, then we have the, the battery bar and then we have the, uh, the resistance of your atomizer uh, Now one thing I, I don't like is that it only reads to one decimal place um, so I don't know whether this is a 0.31 or 0.39 or 0.35 and obviously if you're using a higher, higher resistance like 1 ohm and above then it probably isn't that much of, a, of an issue but when you're kind of are building pretty low so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 you, know, you kind of want to know what the rest is so I think that's something they could obviously update on the next version if there will be a next version now something else I found as well is that when you are below 50 watts it, it increases and decreases in 0.1 increments as you can see there it's only when you get to 50 watts that it will then adjust uh, in 1 watt increments, as I will show you. But one problem this has, as you see here, is once you go over 50 watts, it kind of, it's hard to get it even. So, I mean, I like things to be even, so you need to go back down to 49, and then, boom, then you go to 50, and then you can go up and keep it nice and clean. Obviously, if you like to vape at like 52.4 volts, uh, watts, then, uh, then that, that'll be fine for you. This is something that you know. I always end up going past and having to come down and uh, and go back and sort it all out. And it's, uh, you know, it's not a big problem, but this is something that you know I noticed. But other than that, I mean, there isn't really much else to tell you about this. I mean, 150 watts, uh, 10 watts to 150 watts. Uh, it will take a 0.1 to to 3 ohm builds on there. So it's really, really versatile. It will do pretty much everything you stick on there, it's happy with. Um, yeah, and one thing I really like actually is when your batteries are getting really low, um, 
it will tell you like you know you need to check your battery it will still let you vape uh, obviously up until you know it's it really needs new batteries and then it will stop completely but it kind of gives you little warnings like hey hey you know you know your batteries might need to need to get changed so uh, if you want to do that um, but yeah it's just a really really great box um, great package uh, so Kelly really uh, knocked it out of the park with this one and that's really all there is all there is to tell you about it um, so let's take it back up top We'll put the uh, atomizer back on there and we'll give it a good old vaping. So there we go my friends. That was the up close personal time with the Zagelli 150 watt super duper mega ultimate power box vaping device. Oh yeah. Let's take a hit from this bad boy. Mm -mm -mm. Just like mama used to make. But anyway, I have a, I have a whole range of devices but generally this is the one I will, I will pick up when I'm going to work or if I'm going to the shops or something uh, it's very dependable battery life amazing I mean those dual 18650s running between say 50 and 70 watts uh, I generally don't go over 70 watts um, sometimes if I'm feeling dangerous I'll push it up to 75 or 80 but uh but yeah, if I'm running between 50 and 70, I can get at least two days, two days minimum, possibly three at a push, depending on how many times I'm hitting it. Um, if you're using, obviously, a tank or a higher resistance build, or you're running between sort of 20, 30, 20 to 40 watts, you know, you can get four days a week, maybe it will last forever. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't last forever. You will need to charge it eventually. But that's my point, eventually. I mean, it's not something you need to charge every day. I love the look. Really simple. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it. It's a box with some buttons. Uh, but what you know, what it does, it does really well. It's very dependable. Uh, I love the look. I love the black, black, sleek. Um, I actually had a hard choice of choosing this and the silver version because the silver looks just as good. I mean, the contrast of the silver with the black looks really cool. Um, I think for the price, I mean, you know, it comes in a nice box. Uh, you get the silicone case. You know, you get everything you you would need. Um, and I don't think it can, can be beaten on price. And uh, so talking on price, uh, how much did I pay for this? Uh, where did I get it from? Well, I picked this one up from a, a Finnish website uh, called um, puff.fi uh, for 125 euros. Um, they don't actually have any in stock at the moment. Uh, and actually, nowhere really seems to have these in stock at the moment. Um, I actually found one website in the UK, uh, UK E6 with a Z, because they're cool and down with the kids. Now, UK E6 uk actually have both the black and the silver um, for the pricely sum of £74.99 of the Queen's pence. So uh, I've not actually used that, that website. Um, all the places I would normally use uh, don't have them in stock, but that's the only place I managed to find that does have them in stock. So uh, pop over there, take a look, see what you think. Um, but if you're in the market for you know a reliable, good box mod device that kind of covers all the ranges, I mean, 10 watts to 150 watts, 0.1 ohm to 3 ohm means you can put any, pretty much any build you want in there and it's gonna work. Um, then this, this, is, this, is, uh, this could be the one for you. Whether it's as good or, uh, I mean, comparing it with the IPVs, I, I'm not actually using IPV, so I cannot tell you which one is better. I know that I do like that this one has the magnets on the back door and not the screws. And in fact, this has a proper, you know, a nice big firing button, uh, not the tiny little ones you get on the IPVs. So I kind of prefer this. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that's about it, really. Uh, what more is there to say? Uh, well, no, there's no more to say, so um, go buy one. Have some fun with it. But yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. On the flip side, flip flop, flip flop, flip.